The MTA Bridgestone Trucking Hero Award was created to recognize acts of heroism that take place in our industry. What do we mean by hero? Heroism is defined as heroic conduct, especially as exhibited in fulfilling a higher purpose or attaining a noble end, often while putting someone else's safety or well-being ahead of one's own. All acts, no matter how major or minor, are significant. It's important to recognize these acts and honor these individuals. Not only do they help someone in need, they can also inspire and encourage others to be better citizens. As anyone working in the trucking industry knows, these acts of heroism take place each and every day in our industry. We are fortunate to work among so many individuals. Bridgestone Canada and the Manitoba Trucking Association are pleased to present Jason Wagner of Jade Transport with the MTA Bridgestone Trucking Hero Award. It was a Monday morning. Uh, I was heading to Esther Hazy, Saskatchewan to deliver at the Potash Mine. Roughly 10 kilometers south of Yorkton, there's a curve and then just past that is uh, it's a drainage canal for a lake of some sort. Driving along, I had a couple of vehicles pass me. When I came around the curve, I could see the second vehicle, like the lead vehicle, started to cross over the white line on the shoulder. Something we see quite a bit in the trucks, you know, usually you wait for the, the jerk back. And this vehicle didn't start coming back. And I could see the bridge was coming up. Once the vehicle actually left the highway surface, I immediately hit the brakes. The vehicle went into the ditch. It clipped the first post on the guardrail leading up to the bridge and then proceeded down into the canal. The canal was full of water. Once the vehicle hit the water, there was a huge splash. Uh, the vehicle directly in front of me got stopped on the south side of the bridge, but I managed to get stopped on the north side of that bridge. So I ran across the bridge and as I was crossing the bridge on foot, I could hear that there was children in the vehicle. And by the time I got across into the, the south ditch, the other fella had stopped. So I told him to call 911, tell them where we were, that there's a vehicle with children in the water, and to, you know, hurry up and get there. Uh, I immediately ran down into the water, and I got up to the side of the vehicle, and uh, there, there was two young girls, I would guesstimate 10 or 11 years old, in the back seat. Uh, there was an pa adult passenger, female, that uh, she seemed to be okay. And the girls immediately said, she's having a seizure. And when I looked through the back window to the driver of the vehicle, she had her head back and you could tell she was having a seizure of some sort. Uh, I asked the girls if they were hurt, and they said no, they weren't hurt, but they were very scared. But water was coming in the vehicle. I instructed the girls to climb out of the windows onto the roof of the vehicle, slide down the windshield to the hood, where the water was a lot shallower, because where I was standing, it was up to here already, and beginning of May, it was pretty cold. So, uh, I got the girls out and on to the, to the dry land. The uh, other girl had already gotten out of the vehicle and the driver had made her way into the back seat. I had to force the back passenger driver's side door open, which was hard pulling against the water. And then the, uh, the driver, she just reached out and I grabbed her and carried her out. Just as we got her wrapped up in a blanket, the uh, ambulance and police arrived on scene. Uh, at that point, they kind of took over. I went and changed into some dry clothes, and I talked to the police officers to see if they needed anything else from me. And he just took my name and number down, and I carried on my way to, to my delivery. I think Jason just came back from his trip, nonchalantly mentioned that there had been an incident today and maybe he had been delayed. I think he said actually in his logbook he was only 45 minutes, it, it amounted to, but it seems like a lot of things happened in 45 minutes. I would like to congratulate Jason on, on this. It's, a, I think, a milestone achievement in a way without it, him 
necessarily, it's not something you train for, but he accomplished something that is worth acknowledgement.